Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here back with part one of a brand new Cortex Command campaign where we are going to be playing as the Empire of Britannia in the uh, Great War Factions. So um, it's sort of like a steampunk World War World War II. There's a little bit of World War One influence, but it's mostly World War II. Um, like steampunk World War One factions. Sorry, World War Two factions. Um, and so we're playing as uh, Britannia, which, you know, is Britain, the United Kingdom. Um, the Red Legion is uh, obviously the USSR, which um, in this game, I don't remember what they are. I think they're like zombies or undead or something. And then this, whatever it is in German, um, they're basically robot Nazis, so that's what I called them here. And then the Empire of the Rising Sun, which is like a very techy Japan. Um, so we're going to be playing our usual max game length, max game size, uh, hard difficulty, minimum gold. So let's go ahead and get started. Day one, you guys know the drill by now. It's like the same usual uh, sites here. I'm going to go for... Hmm. I don't know. I, I really like going for the Yeastly Mountains first. That or uh, Mount Imdunt are usually my favorite starting points. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's go... Yeah, that's that's pretty good right there. Okay, and we'll end our turn there. Looks like we're going to have to fight it out with the Empire of the Rising Sun. They went in a little bit heavier than we did, so we're going to be a little bit overmatched here, but I think we'll be okay. But anyways, let's see. Looks like the other factions got off lucky. Alright, where do we want to start? The nice thing about this is the game kind of defers to you. So you choose your starting point first, and then they figure out where they want to go. So, I mean, I could pick something like that down there, right in the middle of these mountains. Make it pretty difficult for them to get to me, but going up here would be a decent idea too. Maybe if I can, like, land right here. Let's try for that. It's kind of risky, because if we miss this, we're going to be in trouble, but if we can get into this little cave here, we'll be pretty safe. Okay, so he is our brain. He has a digger, so that's good. Alright. Ooh, I forgot about that. It opens up on that side. So... Put him right here on gold dig mode. And let's start calling in some troops. Um, I'll give him a light digger. And we'll call them in on our... Let's try this thing. Now, where are they? Oh, they're calling in troops already. We better start deploying as well. I'm going to go two, maybe three right here. Okay, so the range on these is not great. Oh, geez. Okay, he's down. Their uh, weapons have pretty decent range, but they're inaccurate, so we definitely have an accuracy advantage here, but the sheer amount of bullets they're putting down on us is uh, making this a little bit difficult. Just keep shooting him in the face. We're actually doing pretty good here, and they've wasted a lot of money. Come on, we got this. Cool. 
you guys are gonna go on sentry mode here and then I'm gonna call in I probably didn't need to bother with the diggers there but oh well let's see marksman yeah let's call in one of those and then let's call in actually we'll call in one more uh oh they're spawning behind me um where is he Shoot him! Shoot him in the face! Uh oh, he's dead. Okay, we got him. This guy is very nearly dead. Um, I was trying to call in a sniper. We'll do that, and we'll call in one more. I want to try to pick their brain off before this gets any more out of hand. Oh, Jesus. Well, that guy just got reduced to a bloody torso. Okay, so he's down. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, God, the reload on this gun. Got him, okay. <clears throat> well, that was intense. I like how cheap the units are in this. You get a lot more units on the ground as opposed to some of the other mods we've been playing. Uh, so it looks like the Red Legion's going to take that one. And the Nazi robots are going to take that one. All right, so day two, let's skip that phase, get right into the next one. Do a little bit of base building here. I think we'll go in for about a thousand, if I can manage that. No, 800 is good. Now then, you guys know my usual strategy, and I think we're going to stick with it. I like to attack one of these newly taken bases rather than go for the one that's open that everybody else is gonna go after so I'm gonna attack the Red Legion here and we're gonna go all in because I'm gonna assume that everyone's going to go after this rather than attack me so let's see if my gamble play pays off so there's one of two battles yeah I assume the other one's gonna be here so let's see about these undead commies. I think they're undead or something like that. Where are they? Must be underground. I would also like to be underground. So I'm going to drop like here. Have you hightail it down here? I like that these factions are a little bit better thought out. They have the things that you would expect them to have, such as like digging tools and you know that kind of stuff. Whereas a lot of the factions we've been playing were either like extremely broken or you know, just not thought out very, very well. Um, let's go with standard armored infantry. Let's try some of them out. And we'll go on the drop craft here. And let's see, they're just going to guard the area, and I'm going to go after him here. So we'll call in two guys here. Ouch. Why aren't you shooting? You don't have a gun. You need to do... Oh god, they don't have guns. So apparently everybody else has guns. What can I do to this guy? Just like, beat him up? Yeah, hit him. Hit him with your face.
This isn't working very well. <laughs> I'm like clicking to see if I can punch him or something, but apparently there's no like... I don't know. It's not going very well. I need to give him a gun. Let's give him a... Lewis Mark... Oh, uh, sure, we'll do that one. This guy's still alive, if only just. He should cause enough trouble down there for now. Okay. Now you are going to go wreck this guy's face. Or not. Apparently that's not a very strong gun. Okay, now would be a great time to start shooting. Thank you. Come on, come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh, wait. No, you need to go pick up a weapon. Sure. And now let's form a squad. And then shoot this guy in the face. Oh, that didn't work out. Oh, God. Got him. Okay. So we managed to take that base from the Red Legion. And I couldn't tell if they were, like, supposed to be zombies or not. I thought they were when we did the faction preview, but I could be wrong. I am fairly often, so... Let's see. Yeah, just as I expected, everybody decided to go after the empty one, so... Uh, we'll see who gets lucky here. Uh, looks like the... Empire of the Rising Sun is going to take it. So we should have time for maybe one or two more battles. But um, we are out in front. We have the most income. And we're going to focus on base building right now. Because now we are a fairly large target. We don't want to, you know, get attacked and not have anything to uh, defend ourselves with. So I think we'll just go about a thousand into each and we'll leave a little bit of gold just in case one of our bases gets attacked, which I get the feeling we will because there's no other, you know, open gold site. So we've got a 50-50 chance that we'll get attacked here. And yes, I was right. So it looks like the Red Legion is going to try to take this back. Hopefully we can hold them off. Um, I would have liked it if you guys would have like spawned in the base. But that's fine, I guess. Let's see, I'll put him on gold dig mode right here. And you need to get in here quickly. Come on, reload. He's actually doing more damage to himself with that rocket launcher than us. Why aren't you shooting? Uh, that's so inaccurate. There we go. Oh, that was their brain. Okay. Well, that made that really easy. I guess I should have seen like the destroy thing above his head, but I was too busy trying to shoot him in the face and not die. And oh wow, we get attacked again from two different sides. Hopefully they can, you know, help take care of each other. But I'm not going to count on that. Um Let's see. We'll be seeing the the Nazi robots for the first time. So let's go ahead and check that out. And I think this will probably be... Well, depending on how long this goes, this might be our last battle. Um, let's get him inside. Actually got fairly decent positions here. Although I wish those guys were inside. But yeah, this base is fairly well defended. 
I think it's it's probably due in part to again how cheap the units are. They are all for the most part, you know, under 200 gold, which is significantly cheaper than what we're used to seeing. I also like that just about everybody has a jetpack. Oh, come on. Not the time to reload. Shoot him. This is so hard to aim. Okay, that's not working. Pistol, do your thing. No? Okay, in that case. Oh, wait. Yeah, this just is not working. Um, let's see, I would really like it if you would sit like right here. And we're going to need to call in some backup here. Um, sure, let's call in this guy. And I'm going to go after their brain, I guess. I don't know where he is. How about right here? Okay, we're a little bit safer now. Oh, that was lucky. Hit him with a stray bullet. Come on. I'd like to switch back to the other guy we called in, but I don't know if he's even still alive. I don't think he is, because I dropped him right there. So that was a waste of gold, but that's whatever. Um, call in another one, I suppose. Uh oh. Actually, I'm gonna call in backup. We'll do that. This guy's actually in really good cover, so as long as I stick with this guy, we should be fine. Did I just drop the gun? I think this was it. Oh, don't do that. Wow, he just like exploded. I think it keeps dropping. Yeah, it's dropping the gun. No, we don't want a Webley. That's a revolver. That's a pistol. Where did my gun go? There's a Luger. Some kind of guns down here. I'm gonna grab... It's a revolver. I don't care about that. What's this? Another revolver? Sure. Let's grab this. Oh, it's a shotgun. Okay. That works, I guess, since our gun keeps disappearing. Um, let's see. You're back. That's good. We'll use him to cover this entrance, I suppose. Um, he should be safe down there, although they're if they're trying to dig their way in, they might be getting close. I'd actually prefer you to be on this side. There you go. Okay. Where? He's right there. Let's do this then. And that should allow me to sneak down through here and shoot him. Oh, he went the wrong way. That's fine. Really... Not the best time to just completely fail at your job. <laughs> wow, okay. We got really extremely lucky right there, but 
they worked out. <clears throat> so another successful base defense there. And that puts us actually not nearly as far out in front as I had thought, but <laughs> um, we do have the most income right now. So let's see. Let's skip that. Um, I'm going to leave a lot of our money into base building. And, you know, I'm actually going to let them take this because it'll be easier, I feel like, to take it from one faction with a little bit of base build up rather than trying to take it from several factions. Especially since when you're attacking a base, you get three assault, well, two assault drops and then your brain drop against, well, against like an un, you know, an unheld gold site, there's no assault drops. It's just your brain. So I think it'd be easier to take it later. So I'm just going to end our turn here. Um, looks like the Red Legion is going to attack the Empire of the Rising Sun. And they're going to take it, and then the Empire of the Rising Sun is going to take this uncontested. Looks like the Nazi robots got kind of a bad turn there. Because they didn't run out of gold, so they couldn't melt a brain, but they didn't have enough gold to do anything. Or Either that, or they just spent it all on their base. Either way, let's go ahead and end our turn here. And I think this is where we're going to end it. The episode's going to be a couple minutes short, but I'd rather do that than go too long, because I've been running these episodes way too long lately. So I'm going to go ahead and break it off here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first episode and you like how the factions are shaping out so far. I, I kind of like how they're all balanced against each other. It doesn't seem like there's any one faction that's just way better than the other, which was the case earlier because a lot of the mods were made by different people. And this one is all made by the same person. So, I mean, they're not perfect, but I feel like they... I mean, it seems like my troops are a little bit weaker, but they're a lot cheaper. And, you know, like, I think the other factions, we looked at them, they were a little bit stronger, but they're more expensive. And then there's all kinds of cool, like, World War II steampunk tech. So, um, I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too. But anyways, um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to uh, share my videos wherever you guys see fit, and I'll see you guys back here for part two of our Cortex Command Great War campaign.